Hey there, so this is my MAME cabinet. Uh, this was originally a Killer Instinct cabinet I got a few years back and just wanted to show everybody, uh, new and old, what's been going on with it. So as you can see, there's my control panel, uh, seven button layout with a trackball. Um, coin lights working, that's powered off the computer. The coin max and the function buttons all work. I have those all wired up for various uh, features in MAME and other uh, systems. Um, as you can see, there's the inside of my control panel. It's extremely messy. Um, I'm also running a controller for get, you know things like GameCube and N64. I like that one because it's got a six button plus the two shoulders, so it's very versatile. There's a custom uh, instruction decal I made up. That's my D9800. Um, you can see in the bezel those sensors. That's for um, a light gun setup that I haven't quite got uh, set up yet. I tried showing inside of my cabinet. It was very dark. Um, up top is a single power button that's powered to the the PC as its uh, power switch and everything's powered on by a smart strip. Uh, there's my marquee from Game On Graphics um, and here's a little bit of some of the systems I have on there. Um, you know, Atari, all the Ataris, um, I have all the themes, anything you're seeing for the most part are complete sets for the games and themes with the exception of the disc based systems I just have for the time being. Uh, what I can fit and what I would play on an arcade cabinet. Um, like all the Mortal Kombat games. So I literally have everything from, you know, all the arcade Mortal Kombats, all the home ports, um, Deadly Alliance, Deception, and Armageddon. Uh, I even have, as you'll see later on, uh, Mortal Kombat 9 for the PC running. Um, this is all hyperspin, if you guys didn't know already. Um, but anyway, Hyperspin is just, it's a really awesome front end. Um, not too difficult to put together, but it is pretty involved. Um, I lost count of how many systems I have on there. Um, a lot of these two I merged together. Um, as you'll see when I get to the main section, instead of having a separate Naomi wheel, a separate dice wheel, um, you know, separate Tato X wheel, I just kind of merged them all into my, uh, my main wheel and just called it an arcade classics wheel. Um, yeah, so not much to say. I'm just scrolling through here so you guys can see. Um, you know, like pinball. I just added that the other night. I uh, don't have it working 100% yet. Um, but if I go into here into my MAME setup, um, you know, I have uh, the new version of UMK3, the Tournament Edition Beta that uh, I found out about through your MK Arcade Source. Uh, I really like that. Terradrome is a PC game I added to the wheel. It's a fighting game with all... Uh, you know, 80s horror movie characters. It's really cool for a homebrew. Uh, Super Street Fighter 4. It's a, a favorite to play on this. That's through Tato X. Again, how I merged everything. Uh, Mortal Kombat 9 uh, Complete Edition. Um, you know, again, a PC game that I just added to the arcade classics wheel instead of having a separate PC wheel. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Again, an example how, how I merged uh, the Naomi stuff just so it's all arcade things. I uh, wanted to keep it as you know clean as possible. Um, here's just a little bit of gameplay of me launching Mortal Kombat 9, just to prove that it's up and going. Um, it works pretty well. I with this one it was a little bit difficult because the J Pack by default really doesn't work all that well. Um, so on the X Arcade site is a program to put in the uh, the default folder that will just convert everything. So as far as the system is concerned, it thinks I'm playing it with an Xbox controller. Um, so I'll shut up and I'll finish the video with a little bit of gameplay.